Hi, my name's Dave Wolford. I drive for Continental Express Incorporated here out of Sydney, Ohio. I've been here almost 20 years. Uh, my whole career spans about uh, close to 21 years. For years, I jumped from job to job uh, doing factory work and uh, it just wasn't fulfilling. I didn't feel like it was for me. I've always enjoyed driving and loved driving. I uh, loved the challenges on the road and um, I decided I wanted a strong backed career, something that I could grow into and become a big part of. Um, so I got into truck driving and um, one of the things I love the most about it is just the, the, I love driving, I love teaching, I love mentoring other drivers and exchanging information and ideas. I love the whole thing, everything about it. One of the things that helps me stay safe and accident free is uh, I just try to find my own real estate on the road. I try to stay clear of everybody, stay out of the packs of vehicles. Um, there was a uh, time uh, not too long ago where I watched a pickup truck come around me and I noticed in my mirror he was driving well, pretty erratically. Um, as he came around I noticed he was more interested in what was going on with his cell phone than actually driving so I, I got over I gave him a wide berth and and let him go. He, he got a, a mile or so up the road and I literally watched him uh, kick sideways a little bit, spin out, hit the guardrail, go to the middle of the freeway, hit the other guardrail and, and come to a rest. And I, I backed off, slowed down and checked on him. Thank goodness he was okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I try to make sure I watch what's around me and keep my space on the freeway uh, to avoid that. Safety's not an accident. Um, it's one of the things I live by. Um, pride myself on trying to make strong, good decisions. Um, you've got a million little decisions you make every day when you're behind the wheel driving and um, depending on what lane you're in, or knowing where you're going, watching what's going on around you, um, and making good, strong, quality decisions um, it, it is a start uh, and then one of the things that I do kind of mentally is I just assume everybody around me is a 16 year old that just got their license and a cell phone and I kind of try to keep my own real estate on the road and keep a safety zone around me at all times. Would I still be here now if I knew then what I know now? Absolutely, I absolutely would. I love my job, I love driving. I love the challenges of the road. I love my coworkers. Uh, we keep in touch constantly and um, try to make the day fun and keep each other safe. And um, the advice I would give to somebody coming out new into the industry is um, not to be a passenger in the driver's seat. Um, stay in control of your vehicle. The new technology is wonderful, but it should enhance your driving, not take place of your driving. The driver represents the industry, um, so I try to keep a neat and clean appearance, try to stay professional, um, not only with myself, but also with my equipment, with the truck and trailers that I use. And anytime I'm uh, at a truck stop, at a shippers, talking with law enforcement, DOT, I always greet everybody with a smile, stay professional, keep it light, um, treat them with respect, and. Try to try to stay courteous and be helpful. I try to I try to pride myself on uh, any time I'm interacting with other people outside of the truck. My attitude is always, "How can I help you today? What how, what can I do to make your day better?" Such a humongous honor to even be nominated, to be considered. Um, and on top of that, to be in the top five is just mind blowing. Uh, I, it, uh, why I deserve to be here, um, simply put, I care. I care about my coworkers, I care about my company, I care about the motoring public, I care about being professional and safe and promoting safety. I want to be a person that helps everybody in some way, shape or form get home safe at the end of the day or get where they're going safe at the end of the day.